Right, so uh, a little bit of a mixed bag this week. We've got a couple of big FA Cup semi-finals and some um, important league action. So where to start? Let's start with United Spurs. Um, difficult one this one. United were absolutely dreadful against West Brom. Uh, beat Bournemouth, although Bournemouth season's over. Talking to a couple of lads down there, you know, they feel like they've done the job and I think they probably have. So. Um, yeah, I was going to say, the old Sam Allardyce survey might have been an idea to canvas the Man United fans on what they thought about, uh, you know, Jose Mourinho, more, more fitting, I would imagine. But, uh, no, it's been a pretty, I don't know, it's been a, it's, it's been a sort of difficult one to summarise, so I suppose, Man United season. I mean, it's one of disappointment and yet, you know, they're probably going to finish second in the league, so... Anyway, there we go. Uh, Spurs, we know what they're going to get out of them. Seven out of ten. So hopefully United will, will turn up. I'm going for a score draw. Seven to two in that one. Seven to two for a score draw. Uh, West Brom, Liverpool. Uh, West Brom had that, obviously, a fantastic win at United. Darren Moore, I know very well. Chuffed to pits for him because he is a top lad, a real top lad. So hopefully a couple more results and uh, he might get the job permanently. Both teams to score. Liverpool to win in this one. Unfortunately for him, at 12 to 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on, Watford Palace, draw, 12 to 5 again. Uh, I can't see an awful lot between these two. Said six weeks ago, you get a half fit, Palace will stay up. If they don't, mm, touch and go. Well, he's fit and they're fine. So, uh, yeah, and I've got to say, if you're at one of the top clubs, I think you'd have to take a long, hard look at him. I know he's been at United, but uh, he's a different, different player now to the to the young man who went up there probably a tad too early in his career. Anyway, Watford Palace draw 12 to 5. Chelsea Saints in the other big semi final. We're going to go uh, both teams to score and a goal in each half, which is 5 to 2. I think that's really good value. Both teams to score, goal in each half. Five to two. If it's anything reminiscent of what we saw in the league uh, not so long ago, then we should have all bases covered. Stoke versus Burnley. Um, a draw, 23 to 10. Uh, Burnley have been fantastic. Got a real chance of obviously getting European football if Saints don't win the cup, which is fantastic for them. Um, Stoke. Got to start winning. Simple as that. So I think a really open game, a draw, twenty-three to ten. You might want to look at the over, over two point five. Both teams to score whatever in this one. I just can't see either of these not fancying fancy having a real pop at each other. Uh, Everton to win by a single goal against Newcastle, eleven to four. That will be my bet in this one. So Everton to win by a single goal, eleven to four. I think I might just nick this one. Sam and dice. Whatever people may think of his style of play, has done a really good job there. All I keep remembering is Everton at Southampton early on in the season. It was an absolute debacle, let me tell you. Went and did it for five live. One of the worst performances I've ever seen. And they were relegated, let me tell you, at that stage. But he's turned it round. And he's not everyone's cup of tea, but he's done a good job. No doubt about that. And my treble, championship treble. Brentford, Sunderland, Cardiff at 7-2. to two. Okay. Good luck to everyone um, and I'll see you next week.